Hey, welcome to the video. This is my second Polyphia React, and uh, if you're not familiar with my channel, I react to progressive rock and metal and experimental rock and uh, post-rock. I only heard of this band because somebody recommended it. Actually, it was my brother. Thanks, Greg. I am excited to hear it because there's this wonderful YouTuber, and I just blanked out her name, but I like her channel a lot. She mentioned about the prog rock community in one of her videos. She was and talking that's the about prog metal community. I met the crew of, uh, of prog musicians and I have become friends with some of them. They honestly really understand their community, they understand their niche. The main music industry forgot that there was a need for them and YouTube was the place for that and that's why these channels have millions of subscribers. These bands, uh, Tosa Nabazi, uh, Pliny, um, Periphery, Olivia, they have this incredibly loyal following. So obviously they are making inroads for, for progressive rock in general, and I appreciate that. I thank you so much, because for me, pro progressive rock is a, such an important genre. It's been a big part of my life, and uh, even though I kind of abandoned it for a good two or three decades and only got back into it recently and realized there's so much that I missed, and including Polyphia. So let's react now. By the way, uh, Sharky is here, Sharky, and uh, Prog the dog, and he um, he's ready for something. He's got his ears perked. I'm just going to listen to the song, but, but I am going to put the video on for your entertainment. <laughs> Okay, just a quick uh, interruption. Sorry about that. I don't often stop, but once in a while I do. So this, obviously there's octavers going on. The guitar is extremely bright. Um, it's not just the bridge pickup, it's sort of the, uh, the middle pickup going on. So there's a sort of a, oh, how do you, how do you describe it? Sort of a mid pluckiness that's going on. Very technical. The bass is going to incredible depths, like really low. <laughs> Sounds great. It reminds me of a, that techno music. I forget what the genre is called. Sprite splashes all over the place. The music just went up and down and everywhere, and it was fun to listen to. So this reminds me of that. Anyways, back onto the song. <laughs> bass was playing in tandem with the guitars. Pretty complex pieces.
here, rap beats. So I can see how, because they're using all of that, the little the rap beats, I don't know if that's the name for them, sorry, I'm not a hip hop aficionado by any means. I enjoy a little bit of it, but not a big fan. But I like how they've incorporated that. And anyone out there know what he's using for that guitar sound? Let me check something. I wonder if he's using, I've got this. Uh, it's like a guitar synthesizer. It's called Hog2 Harmonic Octave Generator. And uh, I haven't used it in quite a while, but I know that there is some amazing uh, textury uh, sounds. I wonder if he's using this. Anyone know? Let me know down below if you know what the guitarist is using for his gear. So everyone in the band, very technically proficient, obviously. The bass player is doing a lot of slapping as well as, uh, well, mostly he's doing slapping. I think that's all he's doing. I don't know. I'd have to listen back. But again, I, this is my second song listening to them, and I'm very intrigued by it. I'm very uh, inspired by it. I'm glad that they are making amazing music. So that's my react. Thanks for watching and spiraling out from me and Sharky and Prague the dog. <laughs> and uh, Orange Shirt Day here in Canada. Actually, tomorrow is Truth Reconciliation Day. We've got a new holiday on the 30th of September, starting every year. Actually, it starts next year, technically. And this year, uh, some employers are jumping right ahead and, and, and embracing this holiday already. So for all of you that did, good for you. So spiraling out, it's Dean. Talk to you later.